Welcome to our Aggregate Intellect final project on automatically transforming 2D designs to 3D. We are Camberly Crick and Sandra Lopez Zamora. Today we will be walking you through what we built in our Graph Neural Networks workshop, why we built it, how it works, and what we plan to do next. We would like to automate 3D logo design so that it can be done in minutes instead of hours. We hope to train an AI logo designer to create great 3D designs by teaching it with examples from throughout design history. Why would we want to do this? Advertising is a multi-billion dollar industry and studies have shown that 3D advertisements are more effective than static 2D ads on websites. But 3D designs are enormously time-consuming to create by hand, requiring many hours of work by a skilled professional. We hope to save on design time by automating certain 3D design tasks using graph neural networks. In the process, we hope to explore how to adapt popular deep learning techniques like image-to-image -image translation that currently only work on grids of pixels to work directly on 3D graphs and 3D models. To do this, we will start by using a straightforward geometric approach to extrude 2D designs into 3D. Then we will train an AI model to transform those simple 3D designs into something more creative and more interesting. To do this, we are using a model architecture from a project called RigNet, which was first presented at SIGGRAPH 2020. RigNet takes as input a 3D model, represented as a 3D graph, and outputs an animation skeleton, or rig, that can be used to animate that model. To do this, it makes use of PyTorch Geometric and popular graph neural network components like graph convolutional networks, graph attention networks, and link prediction. But how is all this related to 3D logo design? After extruding our 2D logos to 3D using simple geometry, we will then pass them through a modified version of RigNet that has been retrained to take a simple extruded 3D logo as input and return a modified 3D design as output, essentially translating one graph into another one, just as it was doing before with animation skeletons. We are retraining RigNet in two distinct phases. First, using a modified version of the original RigNet training data. Our target graphs in each graph training pair are simply scaled versions of the input graph itself. Namely, we scaled each input along the y-axis, essentially making the models taller. So instead of outputting animation skeletons, we will just output a taller version of the input. Second, we will train on training pairs created from collections of ornamental architectural elements which are created and sold for use in architectural visualization. So where are we now? Currently, the second phase of our alpha release is deployed at logio.co. Our current pipeline is shown here. At the moment, it is deployed using the original RigNet models, but we hope to swap these out when our models are done training and continue to keep everything else as is. Initial feedback on our alpha release from our user has been generally been positive, but there was a complaint that some logos didn't convert as expected and treated white space incorrectly. There was also a complaint that the rigging and animations didn't work for every design. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of work to do. As of the project deadline, we are still training on phase one data. We ran into all kinds of problems when training with our own data, from repeatedly running out of memory, to hitting recursion limits of Python, to the sheer amount of time it takes to train these models. 
Just using the original RigNet data, it was over a day of training on a single GPU. Since our data is more complex, everything takes even longer and requires even more memory. In the future, we hope to deploy with models trained on our own data set, make modifications so that we can handle a wider variety of input images, and more gracefully handle failure cases, and using an architecture more similar to ones used for image-to-image -image translation. We'd also like to modify the RigNet architecture to be more GAN-like so that it can generate a variety of output graphs from any single input graph. In the meantime, while we wait for training to finish, please check out our demo.